It's working, folks. Hillary's private email server is keeping her records well hidden from Trey Gowdy. It is also raising serious doubts as to whether there are any backups of those records as required by law. The most troubling event of her term is by far the loss of our embassy in Benghazi, Libya and the death of four Americans including Ambassador Chris Stevens due to her incompetence and failure to answer security concerns during her tenure as Secretary of State. Trey Gowdy is heading up the Special Congressional Committee looking for the truth about what happened in Benghazi. While on Face the Nation with Bob Schieffer, he expressed his concerns about gaps in Mrs. Clinton's record. If she wants to release all of them with the emphasis being on the word all, she's welcome to do that. By using this private account on a private server, she could not only keep those emails from the reach of the government, but she could delete the emails uh, without anybody knowing it. So she has sent you some emails. But are there any gaps in the emails you have received so far from her? Yes, sir. There are gaps of months and months and months. And if you if you think to that iconic picture of her on, on a C-17 flying to Libya, she has sunglasses on and she has her handheld device in her hand. We have no emails from that day. In fact, we have no emails from that trip. So months of her records are missing. Gee, I wonder why. The photograph Congressman Gowdy referred to is one of Clinton en route to Libya for official State Department business, and there are no records for that trip or many others she took as Secretary of State. So what's going on? What was so bad that Hillary is refusing to turn over several months' worth of documents? We are currently witnessing the humiliation of Lois Lerner as email after devastating email is released. Mrs. Clinton maintaining complete control of any email she generated is a move that is undoubtedly paying off. Having her own server makes her the sole arbiter of what will be released and what will not, regardless of any subpoena. And if there are no backups, she can destroy what she doesn't want to ever see the light of day. It was illegal and it disqualifies her from holding any public office, but hey, it ought to keep her out of prison. Thanks for listening and be sure to catch the Weekly Ray Wonder Show and subscribe on iTunes or at theraywondershow.com.